are Hey, what's up my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Common Rider build a DX Kaizuk Hasha. So here we are, and there it is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right up front here we have the Kaizuk Hasha. We have build in his Kaizuk Resha form. On the side of the box, we have just the rest of that picture and the Kaizuk Hasha. On the other side of the box, we have Kaizuk Resha, Kaizuk Hasha. On the top of the box, you have Galleon Train Kaizo Kresha. On the bottom of the box again, you have Kaizo Kresha and the Kaizo Hasha. On the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots. It does this, that, uh, the other things and stuff. And Sir Pac Man! And that's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along here, we have the Kaizuk Hasha, and this is the weapon of build when he is in his uh, Kaizuk Resha form, and it's a pretty neat toy. Of course, right off the bat, my first complaints, as always, with these toys is that it, it's so small. It's just a little dinky thing. I mean, I know I, I was not expecting a full-on, full-sized bow or anything, but this is really, this is really, this is really small. Like... I know this is for kids, but I think even for a kid this is too small, like this is just really, it's just a dinky little thing, but anyway. <laughs> it is a bow weapon, and it's, I do like the design of it, the design of it is really, really cool. I really dig that. Let's get in close here so we can take a look at the details, we got some nice silver paint here. A lot of nice metallic paint going down the side here of the Kai Zakasha, you also have some nice gold paint, some silvers, you got some nice metallic greens going on, looks very, very cool. And of course, the main body of the bow is meant to look like a pirate ship. You have the sail right up there with the skull. Very nicely done. Got your trigger right there. Some details going on. And you got the big spikes here, which are made of a soft bendy plastic, so you don't have to worry about that. And the back section here, you can see the uh, build logo molded in. And the train itself, let's pull this back so you can see it better again. Lovely metallic paint on it and got some black detailing some silver as well looks very cool and speaking of pirate trains i, I do have another pirate train right here yay i have the uh, the go kaiju russia from uh Tokyo. so yeah pirate trains see you see there were a thing before there you go <laughs> and the other side of the toy here you can see it's actually pretty nicely painted it's uh it's missing the gold and they didn't paint the uh the rest of the track back here you can see on this side they actually did paint the uh the train tracks Going down the sides. On the other side, they didn't do it, but that's pretty much usually the case with these toys. They paint one side and not the other. But yeah, overall, it's it's a beautiful looking toy. Like actually, I love all the metallic paint on it. It looks gorgeous, and you can see it's meant to look like a pirate ship, and it's also meant to look like an anchor. So <laughs> clever, clever design going on there. And your battery compartment is right here. It takes two AAA's. Your speaker is right here, and your on/off switch is right there. So let's get down to the noises, shall we? Let's. So turn it on, and you get... It tells you what it is, in case you already forgot. And now we can get down to it. So if we pull the trigger, we get... A slashing noise. You can rapid fire that. Because he does use this as a, uh, as a slashing weapon, so... So you got that going on. And now we can go into our other attacks, and to do that you want to pull the train back and release it, just like a bow and arrow. So, if we pull it back and immediately let it go, get that noise. Now if we pull it back and hold it, now we'll go into our special attacks. So there's our first attack, so now if we pull it back and hold it a bit longer. You get some more shots and some more explosions. Now if we pull it back and hold it a little bit longer. Get even more shots and explosions, and if we hold it back even longer, we'll get our final attack. Okay. 
And there's your big attack right there, and yeah, and that's pretty much all it does right there. That's pretty much it. Um, one thing to note also is when you have the train pulled back, um, the trigger doesn't do anything, so I can hold this back and... So the trigger function is disabled when you have the train pulled back there. So that's how that works. But yeah, that's pretty, uh, pretty much all it does right there. <laughs> but yeah, all in all though, um, like I said, I love the design. I don't know if I can get this to stand. It's not going to stand. Now it's standing. Okay. But anyway, um, yeah, there is the Kaizuk Hasha. Um, it's a pretty neat toy. You know, it doesn't do a lot, but I really love the design of it. I love the paintwork on it. It just looks gorgeous in my opinion anyway. Um, but yeah, not bad for what it is. So there you go. Now I pick this up from CS Toys, but of course there are many other sites you can go to for stuff like this if you are interested, such as Hobby Link Japan, Ami Ami, Hobby Search, Mandarake. Of course, there's always eBay and Amazon, but do be wary of their pricing. You can also check out BigBadToyStore.com for some common writer items. They mostly just sell figure arts at this point, but if you want to check them out, there'll be a link to their site in the description down below. You can also check out my Common Writer Build playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below, so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Common Writer Build, the DX Kaizuk Hasha, and this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud, bomb in your face.